hello guys greetings from mbtronics so today uh, i'll show you how we can uh, uh, you know uh, run the uh, program using powershell uh, basically we will use esp idea powershell uh, i'll also show you how we can use terminal uh, using uh, espressif id itself so first we will uh, use uh, this esp idea powershell whenever uh, you will install this uh, whole uh, esp id express uh, espressif ide then you will also get this esp idea 4.4 uh, 4.4 powershell so if you will double click on that then uh, uh, you will just get something like that uh, let me double click on it and here is here you go here uh, whatever the location uh, you have uh, installed your uh, expressive idf it will show to you now what we need to do we need to go to the our example code path so that we can run that example code so i'll just uh, uh, go to that path so here you go cd uh, uh, then we'll go to example and then we'll go to get started we'll write we'll uh, just upload the blink code and then cd uh, blink now in this blink code uh, uh, suppose i want to change anything of my code so I'll go to CD main and then notepad uh, BL link example. So uh, you can open your code using notepad. So here uh, we just need to change this to LED number two, GPI number two, so because our LED inbuilt LED is connected to GPI two. So delete whatever I written here and just write two here and just save it and uh, now just go to go back cd and now here uh, to build that code i uh, think you need to idf.py build build so now uh, using this command it will just build uh, the code so i have already built uh, that thing that's why uh, it's just uh, uh, completed build uh, so fast otherwise all the 1024 near about uh, lines of instru instruction it will execute right now only seven uh, only two only one changed i have done that's why it uh, generated this fast now if uh, you need to select the target board then idf.py set target uh, whatever board you set target if you are working on esp32 c3 then write esp32 c3 if you are working on esp32 then write esp32 so i am working on esp32 so this is my target so that target i am selecting idf.py using uh, this command idf.py set target esp32 so it's going about to complete now this command execution it's just going to finish so here configuring done and uh, now it's completed now what will we do we will just uh, 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 flash this uh, to our uh, development board idf dot pi hyphen p whatever the com port you have i have com port 4 so write that com port and then write flash oh sorry uh, it's flash spelling is here you go and uh, you can see uh, it, it's just uh, uh, building all the thing so let me just pause the video for a while as it will take uh, uh, for a while first time it is just building all the files so it's uh, about to complete now yes so connecting and I'm pressing the boot button and here you go so now uh, it's uh, hard reset it and hard resetting we have RTC, RTS pin and our upload is completed and you know in my development board uh, I can see my LED is blinking I can also show you uh, through uh, doc light or any other serial port tool uh, how 
it is just showing the message because serial print is also there so this is the thing So here you can see turning the red LED on, uh, sorry turning, turning the LED on, turning the LED off uh, on message we are getting. The same thing uh, now we will just achieve uh, using uh, Espressif ID but using terminal. So how we can open the terminal, what we need to do, we need to just uh, go to, uh, uh, we need to just select this particular project and we need to just go to uh, icon terminal icon so here open a terminal so this is esp id of terminal ok click on ok then here you can see uh, it's just open expressive framework esp id of uh, workspace blink now what will we do we will just uh, write uh, write the same command idf dot pi and then build So here it is executing. So okay, uh, I have written idea uh, dot pi build. So idea dot pi build. So it's building. Now we will just upload this code using idf.py. Uh, here you can see this is the uh, thing it is shown. Uh, this command we need to upload. So idf.py hyphen p then com port is 4 and then flash. flashing and now flashing is completed so uh, again uh, if uh, you want to show so you can open the terminal here and instead of ESP ID of terminal choose ESP ID of serial monitor and here you can see uh, example turning the LED off turning the LED on turning the LED off uh, same uh, message we are getting and uh, same pattern uh, LED blue LED is blinking in my development board itself so I hope you like this video tutorial if you have any doubt just feel free to comment us below thank you guys thank you very much